What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? It's your boy Divis Lace here. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know just a couple of things. Um, yes, I am in an owl kigurumi. It did a hoot. <laughs> but no, um, anyway, I just wanted to let you know a couple of things. If you've been on my YouTube channel, you're obviously seeing this video, of course, for my subscribers. Um, but if you are looking at this video right now, I just want to let you know there's definitely a couple of changes that are coming along. Um, first and foremost, I've completely took taken out all of my older YouTube videos that really had no meaning whatsoever, and I'm going to try and make this channel a little more cohesive. I'm actually going to go as far as doing this. I am a person that goes to a ton of anime conventions, I do cosplay, several different cosplays, there's a previous video explaining like my different cosplays and stuff, um, but yes, I'm, I go to conventions, I'm gonna make this channel specifically for anime convention like reviews or cosplay tutorials or something like that, um, mainly uh, being uh, convention reviews um, because I think that would be something that everyone would be interested in because I know a lot of you especially some of my subscribers here aren't necessarily from the US so they don't know how anime conventions work here in turn I don't know how some anime conventions work outside of the United States so um, I just kinda wanna give everybody just a little here you go and we're going to start off today, I know I've been to several conventions throughout the year, um, I've been going to conventions for about three years now, um, going on four, um, and I just kind of, you know, wanted to start doing reviews because, uh, there are channels that have reviews on them, but I think it would be awesome to do one of my own. Um, so that way I could start something cool and, like I said, give a lot of people personal insight instead of, you know, I know that everybody's got, like, their anime convention, you know, survival list and, you know, their cosplay debuts and their previews and stuff like that. But I want to do a convention review. So, yesterday, as some of you may or may not know, um, in Towson, Maryland, they held their uh, anime convention for one day from 10 to 10 at Towson University, which is the, the college, uh, called TigerCon. Yay, TigerCon! Um, let me just go on by saying that TigerCon is a free convention. Um, absolutely free of charge. The only thing that you will need to pay for is if, of course, you go to dealer's room. They have panels, they have uh, like musical guests, they had the Geek Comedy Tour, which let me tell you, that was absolutely hilarious. I don't think I've ever laughed my ass off more than that time uh, going to see them and their comedy tour. Um, they had, you know, bunches of photo shoots and stuff like that, again, free of charge, but if you wanted to get prints, of course you had to pay for them. But if you go on the website that they gave you, you could look at the photos that were taken. Um, anyway, um, now let me just go into TigerCon 2013 and give you a whole little review. Um, now, with this being a one-day convention and a free convention, it was kind of announced last minute because it wasn't going to happen, but somehow, miraculously, uh, they did make it happen. It lived. Um, it was absolutely amazing for it being as small of a con as it was and let me explain to you why um it was more uh it was more of like a personable experience because while yes again it was free and there wasn't a lot of people there because you know it was a college and a lot of the kids had classes or whatever the case may be um it was about eh, three four hundred people maybe maybe um not probably not even it was probably less than that um but everyone there was so you know i don't want to say tight-knit but everyone was really really close and even if you didn't know somebody they came up to you and they'd be like oh my god hey can i get your picture or you know oh my god you know i love your cosplay how did you make it and it was it was very reminiscent of the older days of a lot of conventions nowadays uh, especially on the cosplay standpoint because um now a lot of cosplay has become 
absolutely crazy and it's been diluted by the uh oh i want to be famous i want to go and be on tv and you know about it's basically become a popularity contest and if you are not the best of the best then you feel inferior and you want to try and outdo yourself and it's a competition um while they do have competitions i i don't think that it's um I don't think that it's very fair that uh, you could go and tell tell me that uh, I can't cosplay something because of my size or you know because I don't look like the character and it, that's kind of as crazy as it's gotten for these conventions. But anyway, back on topic. Very personable experience. A very tiny convention. I absolutely loved it. Um, I did do a couple of photo shoots um, because there were photographers there and. Um, with there not being as big a competition, like I was saying before, with other cosplayers, it was very cool to actually get a chance to experience what a, uh, convention photo shoot is like. Um, a lot of the, the photographers are cool as shit, and, uh, they're really, they're really cool to talk to, and then the work that you get at the end, you know, they admire, you know, the costumes that we've all made, because especially, like I said, with it being a small convention, these people are in college, they don't have a lot of money, they're making their costumes from Goodwill, and it, it, it was really, it was really an experience, and I, I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, now, uh, altogether, again, there wasn't a whole lot to do, uh, then again, it, again, it was changed last minute, like the scheduling and stuff for panels, so, it was very, very all over the place, a little disorganized, but again, all that aside, it was really well put together. I enjoyed it. I recommend people to go to it, especially if you're in the Baltimore area. Uh, if they have it next year, go to it. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing unless you go to dealer's room. So, with that being said, this is my little mini review. It's first time doing this, so bear with me. I promise I will get better as conventions go on. Um, so with the topic of next conventions. The next one that I will be attending is Katsukon 2014. Ah, Katsukon 20, I believe. Oh my god. Ah. And that is going to be in National Harbor, Maryland. Uh, literally right across the harbor from uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, it's in the Gaylor Hotel. Um, one of my personal favorite conventions. Um, Previous cons I've been to was like Otakon, Anime Next. Um, Otakon is always near and dear to me. That's my home convention, so that one's always gonna have that. That one's probably gonna be the biggest review I have. Um, Katsukon is my favorite uh, because of the location. It is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and perfect for photos. Um, there's several different locations that you can go to, but again, I'm gonna review that later down the road when I go to Katsukon 2014 and I hope to see you guys there I will post on my Facebook page facebook.com slash divot 8 bit 8 number 8 bit art and I will see you guys later this is Divot Slice signing out DUCE!